creating half tones in Corel. I have two boxes in Corel, and I want to create a half tone, which means one or the other are going to be a lighter shade on my screen. So this is going to be one screen when we screen print. However, we're using half tones to create different shades. If I select box number one, and if I go over to my color palette, I'm going to pick Pantone Purple C. I will select that and you will notice that my box has been now filled. If you look to your lower right on the bottom part of your screen, you will see that it says 100% Pantone Purple C. If I go to the second box and select that, it has now been um, selected. I go back over to Pantone Purple C, which was our original box color. If I hold down the left click on my mouse, a flyout will appear. These are the different shades of the same color of purple in 10% increments. So we've got 100%, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. I will stop here and I'll select that and let go. If I go over to my second box, you will now see that is a lighter shade of the same purple. So I now have two purple boxes, 100%, 150%. I've now created a lighter shade. So at this point, that's the first thing that we need to do. We would go to File and select Print. Our print dialog box will come up. I'm going to select the appropriate printer and go to my separations tab. First thing I want to do is select print separations. And down below, we will have our colors that have been selected. And you will see that I have a Pantone Purple C and a black. The black is the outline of the two boxes. The purple C is the fill that we chose. So again, the first one was 100%. The second one was 50%. Now we need to create dots. So if you go over to your right to create halftone dots, we need to change the frequency and the angles. To be able to access this, if I go up to the upper left, there is a box that says Use Advanced Settings. If I select that, I can come down and if I right click, I can change the frequency of my dots. So frequency is the size of your dot. So if I want to do a small dot, I can go 55 and hit enter. Or I can go lower, lower the number, bigger the dots. Angle, if I select that, I can change the angle. I rotate my angle of my dot seven degrees to make it 52. So that rotates your dot, so it may uh, will hold on your screen possibly. Again, frequency is dot size, so the lower the frequency, the bigger the dots. Angle stays the same. At this point, if I hit print, it will print out. One box will be solid, and the next box will have halftones on it.